It is December 4th of 2020. And as much as everyone wants 2020 to be over, we gotta, we gotta realize one thing that's about to happen at the end of 2020. That is, Flash is no longer gonna be supported. And Papa's Burgeria, Wingeria, Cheeseria, Freezeria, Pizzeria, every single Papa's game is Flash. And from what I've found out, they are not going to support the games on Google Chrome or on the internet anymore. So this is it. The fact that the end is approaching, I need I need to have one more go at Papa's Burgeria, and, and this is it. And of course, every single time I play this game, I don't have my save slot from last time. So I gotta start from the beginning again. Chef Beef Boss is hitting the Burgeria for the last time. We'll probably be, well, we gotta be Papa, Bur Papa Burgeria. Papa Louie, the last time doing the Papa's Burgeria tutorial. And the last time taking Penny's first order. We will remember Penny for her large breadstices and uh, her persistence. Here's the man himself, Wally. Wally's eating his last burgers of his fucking life right now. Who knew that your death would come like this? Not even caused by your old age, but caused by a change for some reason that I don't really know why. I guess no one wants to support Flash anymore because Flash is old or something? I don't know. I have no idea what the reason is for getting rid of Flash. Obviously a bunch of people are making decisions that don't play Papa's Burgeria. Wally, I'm actually gonna make your first burger. The first of your last burgers are going to be, or is going to be, a correct burger. It's actually going to be the perfect burger. You're a bitch, Wally. You're an absolute bitch. How did you give me a 99 on the build? What the hell was even slightly off about that? That's unbelievable, Wally. Now I'm not gonna feel bad when I give you cum burgers. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, quick uh, five second rule on those burgers. The five second burger cooking rule. If it touches the grill for five seconds or less, it's actually fully cooked. It's Papa Louie's own restaurant and he's completely fucking it up. I can't believe you, Papa Louie, how could you? You're tarnishing your own reputation. It's excusable if Marty or, or what was it, Marty or Martha or whatever the hell the other, Rita. See, it's excusable if one of those people tarnish the restaurant, but for the own owner to be giving out this kind of quality burgers. It's unbelievable, Papa Louie. No! I was gonna give Wally the perfect burger. Well, in a in a twisted turn of events, Wally, who was supposed to get a perfect burger, ends up getting a lopsided burger. And uh, apparently, I'm I didn't do very good at grilling these burgers. I'm kind of shocked. I don't know what I did wrong. Who the fuck grilled these burgers? They can't be the burgers I grilled to be 82%. That's that's like criticizing my grilling ability. I'm the Papa Louie. I ain't some fucking chump on the grill. I know how I cook those. Those are most certainly 100% cooked burgers. I'm gonna guess Akari's order based on my memory. And I'm gonna say she gets a burger with ketchup. But no burger. That's right, Akari gets the freaking symmetrical burger. Yeah, and you're annoying, Akari. You took 20 seconds longer to make your order than I took to put ketchup on that bun. Well, if only you would have ordered what I guessed you would order. Taylor, I actually could guess exactly what he orders. Burger, ketchup, burger, mustard, bun. One of these days, I'm going to be able to do this from memory. That's what I should do. Honestly, that should be my challenge. Except I don't want to go through the hassle of cooking these burgers. So screw that. And then I'm going to go ketchup, burger, mustard, bun. Close up shop. Taylor's going to be mad. And we lose his stuff. Taylor actually ain't that mad. 
I didn't even lose a star for that. I'm going to take that as a victory. All right, Wally. I am going to build your order before you even place your order because I know your order that well. Uh, hold up. I think it goes mayo. Uh, burger. L lettuce. Onion. Mayo. 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 Okay, I really need to stop with being obsessed with mayonnaise. Wally. I bet I was right on your order. Bun. Oh, shit. I was wrong. I put the mayo below the burger. We all... It was destined to be screwed up anyway. That's my only mistake. Never again will I make this catastrophic error, Wally. But please forgive me by accepting... Extra mayonnaise on top. Or not. Big Polly. Big Polly, what are you going to do when the burgeria shuts down? And the wingeria. And the cheeseria. And the freezeria. Big Polly, how are you going to stay Big Polly? You're going to end up being Skinny Polly. Actually, I was supposed to guess your order before ordering it, and you made me fuck up. For that, you get cheese. Actually, you get more than one piece of cheese. You get a cheese plane and we'll add a little cockpit to the plane this is the cockpit by the way uh, this is the glass of the cockpit and here's the here's the roof and then uh, let's add another wing like right here yeah it looks like cheese with some diarrhea and splooge in it enjoy that big Polly hmm he actually gave me some points for that. Allow me to insert my wiener into it real quick. And that's the meat with that burger. It's not enough for you, is it? Not the first time I've been told that. I wear this giant mustache to compensate. No, Penny! Penny, I can't look at your order. I'm not supposed to. I mean, they kind of look like boobs. Wait. If we could put two top buns... We can't. Well... Penny, that's for you. Looks like an alligator. You got a mouth? Nom, nom, nom. It's going to bite you. Papa Louie's going to have to close the burgeria. We're not making any money. Papa Louie is going bankrupt. We've made $17.10. We can buy a burger. I think I've given out like two burgers that were actually correct today. I do not give any fucks on the last day of me running the burgeria about these people's orders. Not even Taylor. Not even Taylor is getting the right order today. What if we make the burger that never starts? There's just all these bottom buns. As you look up the burger at the bottom buns, trying to find where the burger starts, you realize that the burger just ends. And it's a loaf of bread. Taylor, I am still cooking the burger patties for your burger, but... I instead gave you a loaf of bread. You can take that home with you. I'll give you a to-go box for that, Taylor. We need to make some money. It's been at least a few days since we made even a dollar. So, Prudence, you're actually getting the right order. You're our lucky customer of the week. That gets the right order. Now we got $2.64 so we can live. Now Akari can get absolutely not. What if we inverse? What if instead we go burger, 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 tomato, onion, lettuce, burger, burger, burger. It's the inverse. Of her order. I'm letting my creative juices flow right now. The perfect burger for Big Polly. Maybe today's the day we go for an all perfect day. Although I think I already screwed up cooking the burgers. I don't think they're perfect, but. Well, we're gonna assume that they are. And we're gonna assume that this is gonna be the perfect day. That looks like a perfect burger. Look at the symmetry in that. You could cut it with a knife. 
and not know what sides what? Wally, if this is a perfect burger, you have to suck my wiener. And uh, that's close enough. We had a three point margin of error that we could fall in, so. Wally, you have to suck my wiener. I don't even gotta take your order of car. I know what it is. Hmm. This is not turning out how I thought it would be. I was gonna make like a nice little Mexican flag for Alberto, but instead it kind of just looks like a mess. And generally a uh, unappealing burger, but Alberto, there, there you go. I thought you would appreciate that and remind you of Mexico, but I guess not. I guess you're ungrateful. Wally, what kind of burger do you want today? Wally, what if this is your last burger ever? This is the last burger you are ever to fuck. What would you want it to be? There it is, the perfectly cooked burger, followed by the perfectly placed mayo, the perfectly placed lettuce, the perfectly placed onion, another load of my load, and finally, the perfectly placed bun. And there it is, Wally. Your final meal. The last supper. And you completely dick me. What the fuck is your problem, Wally? Go fuck yourself, old man. My day's ruined if Wally's day's ruined. So everyone else, your orders are ruined. Chuck, why the fuck are you here? We can't stop playing this until we give Wally the perfect order. I need to end my time at the Burgeria by giving Wally the perfect burger. And until then, I am nothing short of a failure. Cause it's all about you, Wally! On your 80th birthday! All about you, Wally! Getting the perfect burger! Oh no, I'm on my phone. Ah! It was at 50-50. It should still be the perfect burger. Yes, it is the perfect burger. Perfect. Now this is this is the hardest part right here, getting this perfect. That looks pretty darn perfect. <gasps> if that isn't perfect, I don't know what is. Wally, come on. Give it to me, Wally. What? It was a 50-50 burger! Wally! Stay, take the Put the hair out of your asshole that's making you an asshole! Wally, how the fuck? I'm actually, I'm legitimately pissed. I'm legitimately pissed off. How is that not the perfect burger? Wally, you're a fucking dick! I, I, I don't want to see these people. I don't want to. We might as well just restart the day. Wally, you just ruined everyone else's day. You didn't just ruin my day. You ruined everyone else in that establishment's day. Because they didn't even get their food because of you, Wally. Just because you're like a little... Nyeh! This burger is a little little lopsidedly cooked. I can tell that this is a little warmer in this little spot than that little spot. Wally, what the fuck? And it wasn't, though. It was a perfect 50-50 medium burger. Taylor, why are you getting yourself in the line of fire right now? You know you're not going to get your burger because I I have to focus on Wally right now, Taylor. This was this was your own fault for coming in before Wally. There you are, Wally. I'm just going to I'm just going to put on my happy face right now and pretend what happened last time didn't happen. And this time, Wally, if you give me trouble on my burger this time, I am going to be upsetty spaghetti. Okay. It is approaching the flip. That's a flip, right? Exactly at a quarter, which a quarter is a half of a half. So that should be the perfect time to flip. So that means right when it gets at a half, we can take it off and it'll be at 50-50. Ah. I mean, that's, that's pretty darn perfect, I'd say. Second load of mayonnaise, which is the hardest to place. That's the real challenge of the burger, getting that, getting that one centered. Okay, Wally. 
while the eye have broken out the telescope and the magnifying glass. What? Wally, what do you want from me? Wally! How is he giving me 97% on my fucking grilling? You've cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. But you gotta work with me a little bit here, Wally. I'm giving you perfectly, perfectly grilled burgers. And you keep on giving me 97% for some godforsaken reason. Wally, do you need to get laid? Do I need to give you a handy or a blowy? Because I will if that's what it takes to get that last 3%. It's not gay if it's for 3% on the grill station. Okay. That time I waited for it to brown a little bit more than flipping it right at a quarter. Maybe, maybe that's the reason why I don't get that last 3%. Perfect 50-50. They're both the same shade of brown on either side. Now I must go through the painstaking task of perfectly placing the condiments on the burger again. Here is our third perfect burger, but is it, is it the real perfect burger? What? And it's not even perfect in the build now! We're still off by 3%. We did 1% better at grill, but now we did a percent worse at build. Wally! I, I've had it. I'm divorcing Wally. I'm murdering him. He's fucking going to the graveyard. He's a bitch. I don't care. I'm done with this game. Perhaps I've been away from this game for too long. Did I forget that you're a fucking sassy ass old guy? Here comes your raw burger patty. Actually, you're no burger patty. It begins now. Okay, this has got to be it. I, I might be able to squeeze a couple more splooges on there, but it, it, we're getting we're getting to the point of absolutely no space for the mayonnaise, and I need to make sure I can put on the top bun. Well, honestly, I need to go till I can't go anymore. If there's a will, there's a way. All right, at this point, there's. There's only like a little spot that I can still fit in mayonnaise on. Actually, there might be none. There might be no mayonnaise locations left. This might be it. We might have reached maximum mayonnaise. Oh, no. There was one. Can we get another? Does not appear so. We're going to try to put a top bun on that. Thank God, the game's lagging. Wally, this is definitely the biggest cum burger I've ever made. Potentially the biggest cum burger you ever saw. And you're really mad about it. I spent like 10 minutes on that, Wally. A little bit of respect for the craftsmanship would have been nice. Spending 10 minutes making that mayo burger to get five seconds of Wally displeasure.